Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Christina speaking today. It's uh, August 29, 2023, and I hope you are doing well. And so I have a message from the Lord. But before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. I am going to share with you a message from the Lord, which is a warning for all of us. The Lord talked about the things he hates. He said that men and women are doing or using those things he hates. I am going to share with you, brothers and sisters, a long list of those things God hates with the scriptures. I will leave that list with the scriptures in the description under this video. The Lord is inviting you to study those scriptures, pray and take everything to the Holy Spirit for discernment and understanding. Do not lean on your own understanding. The Lord said that unless you abandon doing or using those things he hates and repent, you will be left behind. He said that this message is not going to please many. Only those who are wise will listen to it. You must understand the timing we are living in, brothers and sisters. The time is running out very quickly. We are watching for the rapture, and we know it can happen any moment now. Of course, nobody knows the day or the hour except God alone, and this is why we must watch, pray, and be ready every day. I'm going to start this message with a word from the Lord, which is in Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 9 to 10. And he said, go and tell these people, keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. Make the heart of these people dull and their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with the ears, and understand with the heart, and return and be healed. Jeremiah 23, verse 5, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness. A king shall reign and prosper and execute judgment in the earth. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming. I hope you are ready. Mark chapter 1, verse 15. The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Brothers and sisters, forget everything else and focus on the Lord Jesus Christ alone because he is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. John 14, verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Each person must have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ before it is too late. Brothers and sisters, seek the Lord where he might be found. I'm going to share with you another word from the Lord before I go through the main message. First John chapter 2 from verse 15 to 17. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the last of it.
but he who does the will of God abides forever. Now I'm going to share with you the message from the Lord, brothers and sisters. The Lord said to me, go and tell my people, stay original, be natural, 100%, or you have no part with me. Stay original, be natural, 100%, or you have no part with me. Brothers and sisters, God wants us to be natural. He does not want you to do or use things he hates on your body. He wants me to remind you, brothers and sisters, that your body is the temple of God in which his Holy Spirit lives. I know that many are going to reject this message, but this is your choice, brothers and sisters. I am only here to deliver this message from our Heavenly Father to his people. That's it, that's all. I'm going to talk about the things God hates. The Lord said that men and women are using or doing the things he hates. He said that many are even addicted to those things. Brothers and sisters, if you are doing or using those things, please stop and repent before it is too late. Repentance means you come out of your sinful lifestyle, which means go and sin no more. In order to understand this message, I want to share with you a dream I had from the Lord a few days ago. In this dream, I was taken to a place where I saw a woman who was praying. This was happening outside of the house in her yard. I was there. Then I heard a voice telling me to stop and watch this woman, which I did. While she was praying, I saw a man standing nearby, waiting for her. After a few minutes, the woman stopped praying and went to see this man. She came back with him and told him to wait for her. Then she went back to pray. I was observing this woman she wore a yellow sweater and pants, both very feminine and sexy. I could see her body shape through. She wore high heels shoes. She had ornaments on, makeup on, nail polish, color in her hair. Her head was not covered. She looked very attractive. After a few minutes, the prayer was over. She went to see the man who was waiting for her. Then she started prophesying to him. While she was talking, I heard a voice saying, her prophecies are first. At the same time, I saw another woman next to her. This woman looked very simple and natural, 100%. She had no makeup on, no ornaments, nothing like that. 
while I was watching, I heard the word original. Then, after a few seconds, I heard another word natural. The dream ended. I'm going to share with you what the Lord said about this dream. The Lord said that this woman in prayer who called her the woman of God, a servant of the Most High God and a prophetess, the Lord said that she is a servant of the devil because of her lifestyle. The Lord said that the devil is her father. When he said that, he gave me a scripture, John 8, verse 44. My understanding is that whoever does the will of the devil, the devil becomes his father. The Lord said that this woman had seducing spirits. The Lord said that this woman is living in disobedience because of all these things she's doing and using which God hates such as makeup, ornaments, such as earrings, lipstick, chains, colors, high heels, shoes, and many other things she's doing. The Lord said that she's not only sinning against the Most High God. She's also causing people around her to sin. The Lord talked about the man who was waiting for her. The Lord said that this man had already sinned because he was attracted to her. He gave me scripture. Matthew chapter 5 from verse 27 to 28 which says you have heard that it was said to those of old you shall not commit adultery but I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to last for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Brothers and sisters, be careful. The Lord said that you must overcome these things he hates in order to have fellowship with him. The Lord talked about the second woman I saw, which represents 1 Timothy chapter 2, from verse 9 to 10. In like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel with propriety and moderation, not with braided hair, or gold, or pears, or costly clothing, but which is proper for women, professing godliness with good works. The second woman I saw represents First Timothy chapter 2 from verse 9 to 10 and this is how God 
wants you to be woman. I'm going to read a few other scriptures to help you to understand this message. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. A woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, nor shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. Proverbs 31 verse 30. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30. And when you are branded, what will you do? Though you clothe yourself with crimson, though you adorn yourself with ornaments of gold, though you enlarge your eyes with paint, in vain you will make yourself fair. You love us will despise you, they will seek your life. I have another scripture, brothers and sisters. First Peter chapter three, verse three and four. Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and a quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. I'm going to leave all the scriptures the Lord gave me which will help you to understand this very important message in the description under this video. Brothers and sisters, please share this video. If you are doing or using these things God hates, I am going to leave a list of many things God hates with the scriptures. And so, if you are doing or using them, you must stop and seek the Lord for deliverance before it is too late. If you are addicted to anything of these things, I'm going to share or you might be addicted to this makeup, smoking, alcohol, or anything else, please send me a message. I will pray for you. But the first thing you need to do is to stop doing those things and seek the Lord for deliverance. Only Jesus Christ can help you. I'm going to share with you a testimony from one of my followers who contacted me a few days ago. She told me that she had abandoned all things for Jesus Christ except one thing, smoking. She tried, but she couldn't overcome smoking. I prayed for her. And a few days later, she came back and told me that she is free now. 
she stopped smoking. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God saves. Jesus saves. Please make the right decision. Give up these evil things because the Lord said that there are demons attached to these things because they know that God hates those things and so they are pushing you to keep doing or using those things because they know at the end you will perish. God does not wish anyone to perish. I am going to leave the list of these things and please go and study those scriptures. I have posted a few videos talking about makeup, jewelry, fake hair, earrings, all those things. I also shared my testimony on how Jesus Christ delivered me from doing and using those things. Go and watch those videos. Time is very, very short. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please turn to him right now. Accept and receive him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent your sins before it is too late. Once you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins, you receive the word of God and so be baptized of water and spirit. Love God above all and keep his commandments. You can read Psalm chapter 1, Psalm 1 and Psalm 15 in order to understand what you need to do in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. Please share this video. God bless you.